Okay, okay, okay. Mm. I'm trying to find my selfie stick. Take it right away. <laughs> Anywho, I need my selfie stick. So you guys can see how good my abs got. I've been working out for the past five months. Listen, I have to bail on our trip with mom tomorrow today. No, I have to bail you. Kind of. I mean, my boss invited me to the med ball. Her therapy dog. Dude, I lost 20 pounds in a month. But not well, on her lap. On purpose. It was by stress. Okay. Everybody on, you guys on YouTube, you all know what's going on in Princess's life. No way. No fun. It is not a good situation. I love you guys. And he's here right now, so I have to be careful and be quiet. Because he doesn't like my business being blasted. Well, now you know how I felt after I found out you were airing my laundry for five months with the crazy horse. Then he yells at my friend today. Great. For no reason. People are going to talk. Oh, that's my marijuana smoothie grab, by the way. But anyway, that's, sorry, that's the game. People are going to freaking talk, and they're going to form their own opinions and stories and whatnot. So, hey, <laughs> just fucking roll with it. So, I, I, there's nothing more I can do. I've exhausted every fucking avenue. Possibly in Palm Beach County to get this motherfucker back. No. There's something that I believe that there's something else because there's no way after nine fucking years is this not fixable. I think everything is able to be worked out with communication but it takes two parties and right now only one wants to I'm such a I'm such a lonely loser like seriously I'm a loser I'm I, <laughs> I can't believe this happened lost love in my life hold on she's out of your sight quiet before I go outside so when we got here, oh, oh good, there's light. Okay. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> this is the funniest thing in the whole world, okay? I have like 10 Facebook accounts. Four of them are real, but they're different alters. The other six are just used for, you know, Talking <laughs> and you know, looking at shit other people think I can't see. <sighs> Let me tell you what I've seen on this guy's page. There's a post that he thinks he can do better. Nobody is gonna love him like I love him. Nobody. Nobody. You're not gonna find a chick your age wanting to settle down waits on you hand and foot he even laughs about it he hasn't done his laundry in almost 10 years I just thank you guys for just like being here I mean not that well yeah you have a choice whether to stop it or keep going, or subscribe, like, whatever. I don't care. But thank you guys so much for at least, like, hearing me out. Because I'm in so much friggin' emotional pain right now. I Bad things are going through my head. And for me to physically want to hurt myself, there's a problem. So that's why I'm making videos. I'm getting off my chest. Because if I don't, 
the last time I, I've only tried taking my life three times. One time they had to bring me back twice. And it was over him again. But have you ever gotten to that point where you just feel so low that you don't matter? Like you just feel like you're unlovable, unworthy. Just it's not a good feeling. And I, I was ashamed to say it, but yeah, I tried to take my life a few times. Two of them were, you know, whatever, I cut myself, blah, blah, blah. That last time was about five years ago. I swallowed 90 Ritalin, 20 milligrams. 92 milligram clonopin and then 120 furacet with codeine. I was gone. I don't, I remember nothing, nothing, but I, they did that <clears throat> the defibrillator twice and then caught my stomach after that. And then I went out again and I don't know what that epinephrine. They they gave me a shot with the pump, and I was back. And I remember the fireman kept slapping me, slapping me, saying, "Come on, come on, come on, come on, stay awake, come on, New York, stay awake." So it it you know, I am very reserved about my emotions and personal life. Yeah, I'm whatever. I'm all over fucking Facebook, Insta. But I only show you guys what I want you to see. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I'm very deep. I'm very, and, and I'm reserved about it. So you two, nobody really follows me. Like nobody I know really follows me so I can pretty much say whatever the fuck I have to say. You know, and it feels good just to freaking get it off your chest. Because I have a house full of people right now and I'm so lonely. I'm so fucking lonely. Because there's no room for the one that loves him. I don't know why it's taking so long to get over this. How long does it take to get over a breakup? Well, an engagement, nonetheless. And then he tells me today, you know, trying to make me, how I, I, you know, I upset his family. I made his mom cry. You know how many times she made me cry? I don't get, I don't, I didn't get an apology. Okay, people argue. Things happen. People have disagreements. There is no reason this can't be worked out. There's no reason. Unless she was being fake when she came back and stayed for the two weeks before she moved. I assumed, you know, shit was clear. We were talking, you know, she came up. She told me, I feel violated. All my stuff is moved and I don't know where it is. I told you where it is. It's packed in a, hey baby, my kitty boo boo, in a duffel bag. Where the rest of your stuff is. I needed the room. That is my spare room. It's not your bedroom. You didn't live here. Yes, you were staying here. But you took it upon yourself to move in. I didn't ask. I didn't offer. Unless Danny did behind my back. Shame on me. Um, 
my sister ended up being between homes. So I, like I said in my previous video, I offered my home up to her because that's my blood. So I had to get all, you know, the, the piss pads and the, the, the toiletry stuff. Like you wouldn't, it was like a geriatric in, a, in my back room. There was a, 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 a toilet seat, a piss potty in, stop. I'm not gonna, I have nothing to bad mouth except for the fact that you were too fucking lazy to open a closet door. And then you come at me and say you felt violated because all your shit was moved. Sweetie, I left my house for five days to go see my family. I came back, fully moved in, furniture and all, roach eggs, termites, nice, rat shit. Yep, nothing was cleaned. Nothing was cleaned before it came. I came home, filing cabinets, airing out my living room, all the larvae. Yeah, as a woman. That will drive you insane. Just like if I brought another man in and fucked with his sanctuary, he'd go ape shit. You don't do it. And then move him in and say, hey, do whatever you want back here. Because that's basically what he did was move her in and say, hey, fuck Janae. That's just a hundred pound speed bump. She... You know, she'll get over it. Guess what? I didn't. And yes, I feel very horrible for the events that transpired. I did what I had to do. It was never going to change. It was already three months before they called an exterminator. And I had to force it. And then the house was deemed unlivable. I didn't make that bed. So why are you burdening mine? I don't care. You know what? Family's more than welcome. But you know what? Usually they say, like, family stays three days, maybe. You know, if you're homeless, a couple months. But almost a year, it was just getting too much. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't. There is no hate in my heart. It's just some people can't live together. You know, and then I'm being called every name in the book by this fuck. I don't deserve any of this. I, I, I just wish I could have the last year of my life back. That would be so fucking primo. Anyway. Oh, look at my boom boom. Oh, you can't see in the dark. Anyway, my kitty wants to go inside. Thank you for listening. I will be back. Oh, yeah, I will be back because I have gossip. Mwah.